Live from News Nation headquarters in Chicago, welcome to News Nation Prime. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rudibay Shabazi. The Russian onslaught continues for another night in Ukraine. Troops are pounding the port city of Mariupol. Ukraine's government saying Russian... A story about two premature babies born hours after Russia began its assault in late February. Right now, they are safely under medical care. They were rescued from a hospital in Kyiv by an American nonprofit organization more accustomed to helping adults trapped in war zones. The twin boys named Lenny. Tonight, shelling in the Ukrainian port city of Mariupol is hindering attempts to bring food, water, and medicine to trapped residents. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky welcoming efforts from Israel to set up talks with Russia saying the West should be more involved. But we begin with Saudi Arabia carrying out 81 executions. It is the largest known mass execution carried out in the kingdom in its modern history. This international bombshell coming as the U.S. cuts off Russian oil imports. The White House is now exploring the prospect of another oil producer such as Saudi Arabia. News Nation's Joe Khalil is joining us live. And Joe, what is the risk here? It's a debate that has rocked the world of college athletics, and it raises questions about the right to compete versus the right to fair competition. And it centers around a college swimmer, Leah Thomas, who competed for the University of Pennsylvania's men's team before transitioning to become a woman. And now she competes for the women's team and is on pace for a season that's never been seen before in college swimming. Some of her teammates say it's just not fair. News Nation's Rich McHugh spoke to one of them. Before we go, some top headlines for today. Police in Florida have made an arrest.